Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. started in today's video I have a little quick plug um, today is Thursday January 7th and tomorrow January 8th my new guide launches so you guys are seeing this and it's already launched but I want to remind you if you haven't already please go check it out I have worked so hard on this and I am so proud of it um, it's $15. It's a digital download. It's a little bit of a spin-off off of my first recipe guide um, But this is more geared towards the learning aspect behind Food and your relationship with food and then we've got some recipes in there as well for you, but that is launching tomorrow, but um, When you guys are seeing this it has already launched so it would mean so so much to me if you guys check that out I'll link it in the bio below for you all and thank you for being here and for supporting me because without you I wouldn't be able to do this so thank you and if you've already bought it I appreciate you and if you haven't but you go check it out I appreciate you too let's jump into the video okay hello welcome to today's video Today we're going to do kind of like a sit down style video and I know that I ramble a lot in these so I actually wrote the stuff down that I want to talk about to kind of make it a little bit more interesting for you guys but we are a week into the new year now and I want to kind of help you guys out if you are starting a fitness journey this year or if you have started one and you're on it, it you know so today we're going to be talking about how to start a fitness journey and how to make it achievable, successful, and um, sustainable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps to support me and let's just jump in. Okay, I brought you guys a little bit closer. So the first thing that I want to touch on when starting a fitness journey is probably the most important thing because this is what you're going to shape the entire journey around and that is your main goal so you want to sit down before you start and set that main goal what is the biggest thing that you want to get out of this and achieve from this a lot of times for people this is i want to lose 50 pounds i want to lose 70 pounds something like that um, for other people it's i want to be able to squat this much or i want to put on muscle it can also be I want to increase my running. I want to increase my mile time or my two mile time. Bigger goals. Goals that are like down the road. That's your main goal. That's what you're going to be working towards and that's what you're going to shape your entire journey around. So the first step is to set your main goal and you want to make sure that it is measurable, attainable, and realistic. So you should put a time to it. You want, you want to accomplish this in a year or six to eight months and with that you want to make sure that it's attainable so you don't want to be like I'm gonna lose 50 pounds in one month I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> so make sure that um, it's measurable but that measurement is also attainable if you weigh 150 pounds and you're like I want to lose 60 pounds Mm, probably not. Probably not. So make sure that you actually sit down and you figure out a realistic goal and that you can measure and that you know you can achieve in that measurable time. Going off of that, the second thing that you want to do is create smaller goals that are going to help you lead up to that bigger goal. This is something that a lot of people miss and this is the reason that a lot of people quit their fitness journeys early on. Creating small goals are like creating stepping stones, and those are things that you can achieve more frequently 
in order to reach that big goal. If you don't set any smaller goals that lead up to your big goal, you're gonna feel drained, you're gonna feel discouraged because you're not there yet. If you have little things that you can accomplish every two weeks, every month, every two months, that's going to build up your confidence and make you excited to keep reaching those small goals and knowing that you're gonna to get to that big goal. So these could be like markers for your big weight loss goal. You know, in the first two months, I want to hit this weight and then my next goal weight is this weight and then this weight and then eventually you're gonna hit that weight that you had set for yourself. But that way you, you're not gonna get discouraged. You know, you're gonna be accomplished accomplishing things as you go, and that's just going to help your momentum keep going in the right direction. The third thing that you are going to want to do is make small changes each week or every two weeks that you can focus on with everything that you have. Especially if you're new to this, especially if this is your first time wanting to start a fitness journey or your first time actually sticking to it, you're going to want to make small changes that you can put all of your energy into and accomplish one at a time. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make when they're starting a fitness journey is trying to change everything about their life at once and then they get overwhelmed and they can't maintain it. So one thing that I know a lot of people do is when they start, they set that small goal of I'm going to hit the gym three times this week. And when they achieve that, they, maybe the next week, I'm gonna hit the gym four times this week, and I'm gonna be able to hit the gym four times for the next three weeks. That's one small change you can make, especially if you never go to the gym. Two to three times a week is what you wanna hit, and if you can start making that small change and incorporating it into every single week, it's gonna start to become a habit. Another thing that a lot of people do is, this week I'm only going to drink two sodas throughout the entire week. I know a lot of people struggle with um, drinking soda, drinking alcohol, drinking sugary coffee drinks, and that's another small thing that you can kind of incorporate and work on for a couple weeks just on its own. So then as you kind of incorporate new things each week, they're just going to start building off of each other and the thing that you focused on in week one, all of a sudden week three, you don't have to focus on it anymore. You're like, oh, I gotta go to the gym four times this week, but I'm also making sure that I eat one vegetable at every meal. Little stuff like that, that can just slowly change from your old habits into new habits every single day. Doing that is really gonna help you start to kind of find your new routine and your new habits. The fourth thing that you want to do is Figure out what you enjoy and do it. Fitness and exercise is not all about the gym. You don't need to lift weights. You don't need to run or walk or do cardio to be fit or to get good exercise. There are so many forms of exercise out there that are so beneficial to your health. And I think a lot of people forget that we're doing this for our health. And a big part of our health is mental health. So don't do something that you hate because you're not gonna be able to maintain it and achieve your goals with it. Um, with that being said, you do have to make sure that the form of exercise that you choose to do is going to line up with your goals. You know, if you are wanting to put on a bunch of muscle, your form of exercise can't be you. And that's okay. Um, I, I mean, everybody has different goals. And most of the time, your goal is going to line up with something that you love to do. You know, I love to lift weights. And right now, one of my goals is to put on muscle. So I'm lifting weights uh, like five to six times a week. But you don't have to. Like, your goals don't have to be to put on muscle or to lose a bunch of weight. Your goals could just be to be healthy. And there are so many ways to do that. You can walk, you can run, you can lift weights, you can hike, you can kayak, you can swim, there, you can bike. Like there's so many, so many ways to get exercise in. You just have to make sure that on your fitness journey with that goal, your form of exercise matches up with.
there because you want to get there if you want to get there. And the fifth thing that I have for you guys today on how to start a fitness journey is just start. This is the hardest part. It is, it is difficult. It is so difficult, but it is so important. You just have to start. It's like waking up in the morning. Your alarm goes off. You are so tired. You don't want to do it, but you have to. You have to get up and you make yourself get up. And once you're up, you're up and it's over with and you did it and it's time to move on. Same thing with your fitness journey. Just start. Do it. Write all these things down that I just told you. Make a plan and follow it. Stick to it. It takes what? 21 days, people say, to create a habit. So push yourself. Force yourself. Do whatever you have to do for 21 days. And I promise you, it's going to start to get easier. It's going to get easier before those 21 days. You just, you just have to do it. And I know it can be difficult and there's a lot of things in the fitness and health world that can be scary, like going to the gym for the first time or trying new things. But if you really, if you really want that goal, you can't be afraid of what other people think or of trying new things. You just, you have to go out and do it. So I am challenging you guys to just start. Get yourself up, get yourself to the gym, to wherever you need to go to start this journey and do it. And I promise you, it is gonna be so worth it. And once you start, it's gonna get easier every single day. Once it becomes a habit, it's just gonna be a habit. You wake up every morning, brush your teeth. Yeah, because you've do, been doing it your whole life. You don't even have to think about it anymore. It's gonna become that way for you. And it's gonna make things so much easier and you're gonna start to achieve those little stepping stones and you're gonna get closer and closer to that big goal. And you're gonna reach that big goal. And then you can go off of that and set more goals and more goals. And it's a lifestyle. We're doing this for our health. We're doing this for us in our lives. So why not do it? It's, it's not easy. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, it's so easy to start a fitness journey and get healthy. Like, it's not. It's not easy to sit down and be honest with yourself and be like, I'm not where I want to be right now. I need to make a change. I don't know how. I'm afraid. It's difficult. But everything's difficult when you're new. Everything is difficult when you're first starting. Everything that you've ever done in your life, there has been a first time. So this is no different. Get out there, set your goals, and just start. I promise you, it's gonna be so worth it and you're gonna do so great. All right, you guys, that is everything that I have for you today. I wanted to make this as simple as possible because as complicated as it can be, starting out needs to be simplified. So again, I had one, set your main goal. Two, create smaller goals to leave that main goal. Three, make small changes each week. Four, figure out what you love to do and do it. And five, just start. So I really encourage you guys to kind of follow these steps if you're not sure where to start. Um, as always, you guys can come to me for help. Reach out to me. I've been there. I've been doing this for two years now, but I everybody starts somewhere. I'm here for you. I'm here to support you and help you in this journey. So please reach out to me. I love, love, love when you always email email me dm me leave a comment all of that stuff and i will reach out to you um, and we can we can do this together so i hope that this video was helpful to you guys i hope that you enjoyed it please let me know if you do um, i really want to know what video what videos you guys are enjoying what videos you aren't enjoying um, kind of the style that you enjoy i just i want to make this the best platform that I can to help you guys. So let me know, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever. Um, I'm so open to your guys' opinions. So again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget, don't forget to go check out my new guy if you haven't already. It's in the bio. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for being here.